Hello and welcome to the Electrician's Hangout. Uh, my name is Tyrone Robertson and we're going to do another tutorial today. Today we're going to uh, install an outlet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install an outlet into a plastic box. And I'm going to do a different tutorial on installing outlets in metal boxes because uh, things are a little bit differently. There's a few extra steps you have to take and the material that you use other than the Romex. The Romex is universal. You can use the Romex. But the, as far as using the metal box, we have to actually ground the box. Whereas with a plastic box, that's not something we have to worry about. So I figured I'll start with the the easy one, which is the plastic box, and we'll work our way on through. Not in, not in this one tutorial, but in future tutorials soon to come. Anyways, uh, if you haven't looked at my tutorial on how to use a digital multimeter to test the outlet, uh, it would be a good idea to go ahead and check that tutorial out because I went over all the different parts of an outlet and what they are, how they work, what they're connected to, so forth and so on, even all the way down to uh, how to check the outlet to make sure that it's installed properly. However, I will briefly go over all of the, the things that I went over in that tutorial. I just won't go uh, as far into depth as I did in, in the first one. So, real quick, the short, if you notice, the outlet has one side that is short, one side that is long. The long side is the neutral side or the grounded conductor. That's your white wire here. You have a short side as well. The short side is your hot side or, or your ungrounded conductor, which is your black wire. The little round part here connects to this guy down here, this green screw which gets hooked into your grounding conductor or your equipment ground. Okay, so I'm not going to go no further into it than that, but we're going to go ahead and because I want to try to get a, a few things covered here. Uh, first thing you'll notice when, you, when you're holding the outlet in your hand, aside from the fact that I told you that the short side is hot and the long side is neutral, the screws on the outset outlet are also colored. If you notice, one is silver, which, by the way, connects to the neutral side, or that's where your white wires want to go, the neutral or the grounded conductor. And the other side is bronze, or, or, or goldish looking color. That's connected to the short side of a receptacle, or the ungrounded conductor, or the hot wire. That's where your black wire is going to go. And of course, as I said a little earlier, the green screw is connected to the little circular part here, which is your ground, or your equipment ground, or your grounding conductor. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw this outlet in real quick, just so you guys see it done. I mean, there's nothing fat fancy to it. I mean, I will give you a few uh, pro tips on how to attach the wires to the outlet. A lot of people will tell you to, to go ahead and stick the outlets in the little holes in the back. Though that may be perfectly fine, the, the, the outlet is uh, UL rated to, to be used that way. However, I don't do that because I've, I've run into several situations on jobs where I've had uh, customers call me and outlets weren't working and it was traced back to a wire coming out of the little holes in the back where they did the, the quick connection there. So for me, I don't I don't use that. I always, always put my wires under the screw. And I'm going to show you how that's done. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to strip your conductors. And you're going to want to strip it about maybe an inch. Okay? Now, when you're stripping your wire, one thing you really want to be careful of is not to nick the copper. That, that could cause problems as well. When you nick the copper because it's so soft, once you bend it a few times, that little nick 
can cause the cable to break and it also causes bad connections because you take away from the circular mill area of the actual conductor so you do not want to strip or, or I'm sorry nick the conductor while you're stripping the wire and it does take practice but of course practice makes perfect so that's what you have now the first thing you're going to want to do is make a, a hook with your with your conductor and the way I do it and let me back up for a minute and I'm, I apologize because you know I got caught up in a moment and obviously you guys know I'm new to this I mean you can probably tell but before you do anything you want to always, and that's the reason I had the tester here, safety should always come first. The first thing you're going to do before you touch anything is you're going to test your wires to make sure that they're not energized. I turn my meter on, onto V for voltage, and I put my test leads across the wires. And I mean, you see that it's a black and a, and a red test lead. With AC, it doesn't really matter. They, it, with DC, it, it kind of makes a difference. It depends on what you're doing, but that's something that goes into a lesson that gets a lot more technical, so we're not going to go there. But you test to make sure that they're, the wires are dead and there's no voltage there. So that's the very first thing you do before you do anything. And if you go back to my first video tutorial, I told you guys, before you test the outlet that you're going to work on, you always want to use your meter on an outlet that you know is energized. Perhaps an outlet that maybe has a, a lamp or something plugged into it. You turn that lamp on and you make sure that it comes on. You know that that outlet is hot. You turn your outlet to voltage, I mean, I'm sorry, your, your meter to voltage, and you test that outlet. You should see 120 volts there or whatever the voltage that's supplying that outlet is that voltage should be present. That way you know that your meter is working properly and it's not damaged in some type of way. And once you've verified that the meter is working properly by testing that outlet with an appliance plugged in it that you can visually see working, then and only then do you go to the outlet that you're preparing to work on and test it and make sure that there's no voltage there. Okay, so now we've got that out the way. And I apologize, that should have been the first thing that I told you guys. Because it's really, really important to be safe when you're working around electricity or with electricity. Because it has the potential to do a lot of damage. Which is one of the main reasons I do these tutorials. Because I want to see people do things safely. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a hook. And the way that I do my hooks, I'm going to move these wires up and out of the way. Hopefully, uh, you guys can see. I have my son behind the camera, by the way. Say hi, Jordan. Hello. <laughs> okay. First thing you do is you get it so that you're... And by the way, these are side-cutting pliers. These are... This is an electrician's tool. You know, I'm going to do another tutorial where uh, I do a tool list for, the, for electrical. That way... Uh, You'll be familiar with all the different types of tools and what the names of them are and what they're used for. But, okay. I'm trying to work on keeping these uh, videos a little shorter because they get real long-winded and I, I truly apologize. You grab it from the bottom and you twist it 90 degrees there, as you can see. You grab it maybe halfway and you twist and twist and twist. And now you can see we have a hook. And I'm going to do the same thing with the white wire and the grounding conductor or your grounded conductor, conductor which is the white wire. As you can see, we have a nice hook there. Do it one more time here. We have three hooks. <clears throat> okay, now comes time to actually hook up the outlet. And as I said earlier, the white wire or the grounded conductor, neutral, goes on a silver screw. The black wire, your ungrounded conductor or hot wire, goes on the bronze screw. 
in the bare wire, which is your grounding conductor or ground conductor or equipment ground goes on the green screw. Now, when you're working with electricity, you always want to work in such a way that you, you mentally train yourself to, to do things a certain way. When you're hooking an outlet up, you always want to put the white wire on first, which is your neutral conductor, and I'll explain it to you after we're done. And also, when you're tightening up a screw, you're turning it to the right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. You want the open part of your loop to be facing the direction that the screw turns. When you do that, like so, if you guys can see there, once I start tightening up on this, and one thing that I always do too is I always take uh, my strippers and I kind of tighten my loop down a little bit, like so. And by putting your, your, your hook on in that direction, when you tighten the screw down, it, it kind of wraps it around the screw so that it's nice and tight. All right. As you can see there, I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to turn it so that the open part of the hook is facing the side of the screw that's going to turn the tight, which is to the right. I like to, it's just me, it's an extra added touch. Close him down a little bit there, and I'm going to tighten him down. And we're going to move on to the, to the ground. And as I said, I always kind of go there. That's just a habit that I have. And we're going to tighten them down. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, the black wire is on the bronze side. The white wire is on the silver side. The ground is on the green screw. And all that's needed after that is to fold your, your wiring into your box and screw it in. Now, I said to you guys that you should always, when you're connecting the outlet, to connect the white wire first and the black wire second. Uh, in electrical trade, we try to work as safe as possible. And sometimes as an electrician, I would, I'm not suggesting that you guys as homeowners try this working on anything while it's energized. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever that you should be working on the outlet while it's energized. It's not safe and it's not smart. A lot of, a lot of homeowners have the notion that uh, 110 volts can't hurt you. First and foremost, let me tell you, it is not the voltage that's going to kill you, it's the current or the amperage. And it only takes 50 milliamps to kill you. The smallest circuit that you will run into in your circuit breaker panel is going to be 15 amps. So that it has more than enough current there to kill you a, a, a couple hundred thousand times over. So always turn off whatever it is you're working on before you touch it. Now, that being said, the reason you hook the white wire up first, or you should always try to get into a, a, a habit and a routine of doing so, we as electricians sometimes end up working on something hot. I'm not going to go into the many situations that, that may force us into that particular situation, but just know that they do exist and sometimes that we have to go there. 